Now, anytime you're applying the ratio test and you've got this alternating portion, so when you have negative 1 to the n, negative 1 to the n minus 1, negative 1 to the n plus 1, that makes your series alternate, right? Well, when we take this absolute value, it makes all of these negative ones positive ones. So then they play no role in the limit. So basically, you can dump them. I'm just not even going to write them anymore. They become positive ones raised to the n to the n minus 1, but who needs them anymore? And then I'm going to multiply now by the reciprocal of the denominator so we can start cleaning things up. So we've got the limit. n goes to infinity. Again, I don't need absolute value anymore now that I've made all these negative ones positive, so I'm just going to switch to parentheses. I'm going to have 3 to the n plus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1 times n plus 1 cubed times reciprocal of the denominator. So we're going to have 2 to the n times n cubed over 3 to the n. How are you guys doing? All right, great. Now this part will get repetitive.